911. I would like to order a pizza at You called 911 to order a pizza? Uh, yeah, apartment. This is the wrong number to call for a pizza. No, 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 you're not understanding. I'm getting you now. Is the other guy still there? Yep. I need a large pizza. All right. How about medical? You need medical? No. With pepperoni. A seer finally came today to exercise the poltergeist. Hope it will work. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh my god, go away! What Leave the us alone! What the hell? <laughs> Sweetie, is it time for school? Yes, I think so. Sweetie, you need to ask, what time is it, Mr. Wolf? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 8 a.m. It's time for school. Mmm, lunchtime. Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 12 p.m. It's time for everybody to eat lunch. Except Timmy. It's time for Timmy to be my lunch. No, oh, Mr. Wolf, please! What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for me to eat you. Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. Hurry! We're in a, kind of in the topic of aliens and stuff like that. Do you remember an Area 51 call that someone called to a radio show? I think I know what you're going to talk about. I think I've seen this. I remember when I first watched it, I was scared for a while. I, I was let go on a medical discharge about a week ago. So give us something quick. What we're thinking of as, as aliens are, they're, they're extra dimensional beings that an earlier precursor of the... Um, the space program made contact with. They are not what they claim to be. The disasters that are coming, they, the government knows about them. There's a lot of safe areas in this world that they could begin moving the population to now are... But they're not doing, they're not doing anything. They are not. They want the major population centers wiped out so that the, the few that are left will be more easily controllable I, I started getting people are saying it's a hoax i feel like that's i mean why would he be crying you know why like yeah it, it sounds too and if he's an actor then he's a great ass actor but yeah. it sounds too real bro what got to me was the whole him talking about disasters it's kind of what's going on right now or that's been going on for a while yeah Either 2008, 2010, those were the years where a lot of UFO sightings were, were, happening. were happening, bro. There was one that happened in Jerusalem. I don't know if you remember back then. Another video from a different angle uh, appears to show light doing the same thing. It literally hovered down. Turn your physical house into a horror game. Collect all the relics before it's too late. Any size or shape house can become haunted. Hauntify mixed reality. 
Download on SideQuest. These chains were used to torture children after the Civil War. This is the haunted orphanage in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. In the years following the Civil War, this building was used as a residence for the children whose fathers passed away in the Civil War. An evil head matron named Rosa Carmichael would torture kids for something as simple as stealing bread. But the reason the kids would even have to steal the bread in the first place is because she was also starving them. This exhibit is a remake of what the pit would look like with a kid chained up inside. They would be like this for hours, days, or weeks. It is confirmed that Rosa's torture methods killed at least one child, but there is rumored to be many more deaths. This building is also extremely haunted, and in the gift shop when they were painting the walls, they found these fingerprints. Could they have been made by the spirit of a child who Rosa tortured? There's obviously a ton of conspiracies about Michael Jackson. But in my opinion, one of the most interesting ones, if not a little ridiculous, is that this is what he actually looked like. Hear me out. On January 27th, 1984, Michael Jackson was shooting a Pepsi commercial at LA's Shrine Auditorium. Everything was going great until the sixth take when the pyrotechnics malfunctioned, causing his head to be engulfed by a fireball on camera in front of 3,000 fans. Now, he likely couldn't feel it at first, but as he made his way down the stairs onto the stage, it didn't take long for the stagehands to realize he was on fire. Aaron Fay, his hair and makeup artist at the time, said, quote, This was someone I knew, and he was on fire. By the time I got to him, all of his hair was gone, and there was smoke coming out of his head. According to the hospital, Michael suffered second and third degree burns across his head and face. In 1992, the music video director that was filming his tour, Rudy Dolezal, was told that Jackson refused to appear on camera on days that he wasn't performing because on those days, he didn't have a nose. Rudy went on to tell the New York Post that Jackson needed a prosthetic nose that took hours to put on using makeup and putty. In 2002, rumors were running rampant in the tabloids that what was left of Jackson's nose cartilage had completely collapsed. So what's the conspiracy, man? I couldn't figure out what it was used for, but there is footage of Michael Jackson being made up to look like an old man using makeup and prosthetics, and it's very convincing. Then there's also this Akon interview where Akon describes going to the movies with Michael Jackson and being shocked when he got there and a complete stranger walked up to him and started talking in Michael's voice because it was Michael, but he was absolutely unrecognizable. The theory being that nobody really knew what Michael Jackson looked like anymore because the Michael Jackson that was famous was just a mask. Now this is a real man named Dave Dave, a victim of horrible burns when he was young and Michael Jackson just kind of took an interest in him and took care of him. So at first when I was reading about this, I was like, okay, case closed, that's a different guy. But the theory points out that Dave Dave suddenly became a lot more public and his appearance kind of changed after Michael Jackson's death, insinuating that Jackson didn't pass away in 2009, but instead resumed living under various assumed identities, easily fooling the world because nobody had really known what he looked like since the 80s. Hit the link in my bio to watch hours of conspiracy theory content on my YouTube and have a great weekend. Light out everybody. It question that has long plagued police is what do we make of the McGrady tapes? So back in like 2001, at a blockbuster in McGrady, North Carolina, a car drove by in the parking lot and just dropped a tape outside of the building. So employees saw that and they went outside to get the tape and they were like, who would drop a tape off like that? Until they looked at it and they noticed something was wrong. This was the tape that was recovered from the parking lot and it was completely unlabeled. According to the story, they took it to the back room where they were able to play it back and this was the footage they found. It is a 40 minute video of a person's face looking under what looks like a bathroom stall and it's completely silent like straight 
uncut 40 minutes of this and the cameraman just breathing heavily while they videotape this. The management turns the tape over to police and the strangest part is that a search canine signaled that the tape had traces of human decomp on it. To this day, whoever's behind the McGrady tape is a mystery.